Hello and welcome to our channel. In this video, we will demonstrate on parsing PDF invoices, classifying the extracted information, and saving the data to a Google Sheet spreadsheet using PDF.co and Make. For a comprehensive guide, you can find the link to the full tutorial in the description box below. Be sure to visit PDF.co for additional information and resources. In this document processing example, we will use a set of sample PDF invoices to demonstrate how automation tools extract data and classify the extracted information, and save the extracted data to Google Sheet Spreadsheet. So without further ado, let's get started. First open your Make account and create a new scenario. Next search and select the Google Drive app. You may also use other cloud storage services where you want to get the input files. Then choose the watch files in a folder module to trigger when a file is created or modified in a selected folder. Let's set up the Google Drive configuration. Begin by connecting your Google Drive account to Make. This will allow Make to grant access to your Google Drive account and enable you to fetch files from your drive. In the Watch Files section, select by created time as the trigger for the automation. This means that Make will fetch files from the specified folder based on the time they were created. Next choose the drive where the folder you want to fetch is stored. Then select the folder you want to watch in your Google Drive account. And specify the file types you want to watch for. Lastly enter the maximum number of results you want to work with during each execution cycle. Once you have set up the configuration for fetching files from your Google Drive in Make, you can run the scenario to automate the process. The scenario runs successfully and detects new files to trigger the automation to parse the invoices. For the next step, we will enhance the functionality by incorporating iterator tools, which enable us to execute a series of commands iteratively on a given list of items. Under the Flow Control in the Array section, select the Web View link from Google Drive. Now let's add another module and select the PDF.co app. And choose the Document Classifier module to analyze the text of the input document and return its class. Let's configure the PDF.co settings. First connect your PDF.co account to make by adding the API key. You can obtain the API key from your PDF.co dashboard. In the Input File field, select the Import PDF or Image from URL option to utilize the Iterator Return value. In the URL field, enter the Iterator Return value. In the Set Custom Rules field, add the Custom Rules value that you created from Document Classifier. By setting custom rules, you can automate the document processing workflow and ensure accurate and efficient processing of documents. Once you have completed the setup, you can proceed to run the scenario for document classification and retrieve the corresponding class value. We successfully classify the documents and return their class values. Now, let's add another module to specify the name of the variable and the value to be assigned to it. For the next step, we will add the set variable tools to allow us to define a value once and use it multiple times throughout your build process, which can make your files more concise and easier to maintain. Let's set up the configuration. In the variable name field, add the name that will be used to refer to the variable throughout the automation workflow. Next specify the variable's lifetime. This refers to the period of time during which the variable will exist in memory. Then assign a value to the variable by retrieving the body class value. This body class value will be used to populate the variable for each item in a list within the automation workflow. After you have set up the variables, you can execute the scenario to test the variable setup and ensure that the variables are being assigned the correct values based on the automation workflow. The scenario runs successfully and return the correct values. Now let's add another module to parse the data from the PDF invoices. 
In this step, we will add the pdf.co app. And choose the parse a document module to parse data from PDF invoices. Let's set up the pdf.co configuration. In the input file field, select the import a file from URL option to utilize the iterator return value. In the URL field, enter the iterator return value. In the document parser template ID field, enter the variable name that holds the parsed data. Once you've finished setting up the configuration, run the scenario to extract the parsed data value from the invoices. PDF.co has processed our request and returned the parsed data value from the invoices. Let's proceed to save the parsed data value to Google Sheets spreadsheet. In this step, let's integrate the Google Sheets app into the workflow. And select the Add Row option to add a new row to the Google Sheet spreadsheet and map the columns in the row with the corresponding parsed data values. Let's set up the Google Sheets configuration. First connect your Google Sheets account to make by providing your Google credentials. This will allow your Make scenario to access and modify your Google Sheets files. Next choose a path and method for accessing the spreadsheet. Then select My Drive as the drive to be used. Enter the spreadsheet ID for the specific spreadsheet where you want to save the parsed data values. Specify the name of the worksheet where you want to save the parsed data values. Lastly under the Values field, map the parsed data values from pdf.co to the appropriate columns in the worksheet. Once you have set up the Google Sheets configuration, run the scenario to save the parsed data values to the Google Sheets spreadsheet. We successfully running the scenario and saving the parsed data values to the Google Sheets spreadsheet. To view the parsed data values, open your Google Sheets app and navigate to the worksheet where you specified the data to be saved. Here are the parsed data values from invoices that were successfully saved to the Google Sheets spreadsheet. To learn more about pdf.co and its features, kindly check out our tutorials available on our website. You may also visit our YouTube channel for more informative content. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos. Thank you for watching.